Pete's going to talk about is like his new better to slice bread. Um, Chad, let's see, let me get this little man's name. He developed this key coach. That's the way he made it. Kenny Neal. Why did I want to say Tim? Kenny Neal started the next level ag and turf products. He offers service to his to his clients for soil sampling, but he developed this little thing and he's going to tell you about it. For the past several years, it's become almost impossible to go out with a conventional soil probe and be able to take a soil sample. Dry conditions, especially in pastures, you can't get a probe in the ground. So I've taken to taking a hole and a shovel along the back of my truck to be able to collect soil samples. Also, if I go out to a client's house and want to take samples, it's become increasingly difficult to be able to get them done. Kenny came by and talked to the Cattlemen's Association about this one night, and I said, well, what the heck? It was 40 bucks, and I spent $40 on a lot worse. I spent $40 on meals I didn't like. So, <laughs> I, after he had demonstrated it, talked with him, he sent me one of them, and I paid for it. And what you need for this kit to work is a cordless drill. This is a conventional wood boring bit, and yes, it will round off and the little point will go away after about two applications, but this was the best bit he found that worked and continues to work with this. You put your drill bed in your cordless drill. You notice there's a little nub on the small bottom of the bucket, and that's a really neat feature of this. So you take your drill, you start a little pilot hole, if you will, wherever you want to take a sample. You can do this on rock hard clay. Stick a little nub down in it, and then you take your drill and you start drilling. Right down through the hole, and you just work a bit up and down to a depth that you want to go down to, generally four to six inches. And it brings the soil up into the bucket. And what you have in here is a nice way that you can collect the 12 to 15 requisite samples down to that depth. It grinds the soil so that our lab actually doesn't need to do anything to it when it gets there. If you've got a rock or two or a little organic material in here, you can reach in and pick it out. You can toss it, get a good mix without ever touching it, and then take your sample bag, turn the bucket over, and dump it directly into the bag. Um, I'm not as young as I used to be, and taking soil samples now has actually sort of gotten to be fun. I showed Clayton Lancaster, our local commercial fertilizer guy, this thing. One day he was in about <coughs> breaking two probes that morning. I showed it to him. He wanted to buy mine right then. <laughs> he said, I'll give you the money. I'll pay for, for yours now and give you the money to order you another one. I want it right now. And I said, no, you ain't getting it. <laughs> um, it comes with good directions, but it's easy to use. Um, if you pull a lot of soil samples, um, if you're vegetable gardening, you should be pulling them all the time. And uh, it comes with the drill bit. This little tie-down thing, you can toss it in the back somewhere. I haven't seen where it's practical, but what he, he does is he takes this thing, puts it on the bed of his pickup truck through one of the holes in the bed stakes, just takes it and turns it up like this and makes a little hook. It doesn't fly out when he's going down the road. Uh, you can use it to tie down a lot of stuff. It's a neat little strap. You can probably find something else to do with it. But uh, I, haven't, I haven't used that because I got a cover on the back of the truck. But this thing is sturdy. I haven't been able to hurt it in a year that I've been using it, and I've taken a lot of soil samples with it. Makes it really easy to collect samples. You can uh, do as large a composite sampling as you need. Get all the soil in the bucket. It won't fall back out of the hole because it has a little nipple on the inside like it does on the bottom that keeps the stuff from coming back out. It's an excellent product. It's 40 bucks. Uh, shipping is, a lot of times if you go on his website and collect and go, he'll have free shipping on there. So, you can go in there and order the thing. All it requires from your part is a cordless drill. And I can tell you, it's easy to use. The lip, you design this so that the handle of the drill 
will go down into the lip of the bucket and if it wants to torque on you, the little lip catches the handle of the drill and keeps it torquing around on you. So he thought of a lot of different things. He started with a five gallon bucket and he ended up with this in production. It's a one piece cast unit, very durable, works very well and uh, it's a really nice thing to have on hand if you like to take a lot of soil samples. You say the drill bits wear out pretty easy? No, they wear down on the end. It's not going to look like that for maybe three or four samples. <coughs> We've been using this thing for a year. I've taken oh. probably 400, 500 soil samples with it. And it works probably better than it did when I first got it. And uh, if it is just it's a really easy tool to use. He said he used it, and he's a professional agronomist. He does probably three to five thousand soil samples a year, and he said he may use two of these in a year doing three to five thousand samples. So they last a while. But if you do a lot of soil sampling, or if you think you most of you need to do a lot of soil sampling, and you hate taking soil samples, that thing makes it almost fun. All right, guys. So I know I've run over a little bit. I'm, I'm, we're out, but we'll, we're going to end it up that we learned a little bit here about how to make some, some irrigation and some, some fertility and some weed control in our gardens. Next month, I'll give you the opportunity to tell you you're not going to listen to me for the whole time. Uh, we're going to have the privilege of having one of our most uh, experienced gardeners do some presentations because we're going to be talking about plantings and container gardening. So we're going to be talking about some not just you know normal things but something out of the norm with containers and some things some plants that are real out of the norm for what some of you may be used to doing so we've got plants that are going to be donated we got all kinds of stuff as much as we got this time so hopefully we'll see you here so let's give away some stuff all right so everybody can get us one. all right let's see we got number 328. You got to be kidding.